Hi, this is Ronald Lett. I am submitting a PowerPoint video to you on how to make a PowerPoint video. It's really quite straightforward. You can go on YouTube and find complications about this, but I just wanted to make sure that you know how to do it so that you can submit your presentation for the Trauma Team Curriculum Review using this methodology. Basically, if I can do it, you millennials and generations X, Y, and Zs should have no problem. Here is the first of six slides on making your PowerPoint video. First of all, you just do a PowerPoint presentation, no different than usual. The only suggestion I would make is that you go down and make sure you highlight the note part of the presentation so that you can add notes. So that will make it easier for you to make your presentation. As you can see in the lower left hand part, you will have a place where you can put your notes to remind you what to say as you go along. You've made your presentation. Now you decide it's time to make the video. So you go find your video in your file and you highlight it and enter PowerPoint. You enter PowerPoint and there is the usual ribbon at the top of the document and you just find slideshow and you highlight it. You now have the slideshow menu. So you just find the only item that's interesting on the slideshow menu at this point, and that's record slideshow. You highlight record slideshow, and it proceeds to the recording panel. The recording panel is where all the action is to make your PowerPoint video. Let's go over it in a bit of detail. Up in the left-hand corner of your recording panel are your control buttons. You have record, stop, and replay. When record is highlighted, it then becomes a pause button. If while you're making a slide you choose to pause, you can do it. After you've finished recording a slide, push stop. You can replay it, listen to it, and see if you like it. There is a item for notes. If you've made notes on your PowerPoint presentation, if you select this, you will see those notes. No one else will see those notes, just you. Very important, next is clear. As you make your recording, and if you find you've flubbed it on replay, go back to that slide and you can clear the recording of that slide. Be careful, you can be clear. If you push the wrong button, you will clear the recordings of your whole presentation. Settings, I don't find that very important. It seems to be automatic choosing which microphone and which camera you have. Perhaps it's important if you have um, multiple uh, capabilities. On the bottom at the left hand side, you have your pen, which is in the center, which is this narrow item. You have your highlighter, which is what I was using earlier to make highlights. You can't see it here, but right here is the eraser. So if you want to erase something, you highlight that and you can go back and remove your last step and then the last step before that. There is a color panel to choose what color you would like your pen or your uh, pen or your highlighter to be. One other item, and I'm trying to show it to you, is if you turn off your pen and your highlighter, you push on control and your mouse, you then have the laser pointer that I was using earlier. In the corner are three items. The microphone, which you turn on, the video camera, which you turn on, and the presenter view, which you turn on. I will show you later 
that you, after you've saved your presentation, you can move the presenter item around, which I'll have to do for this slide, so that you can see these three items. Step six, you have re finished your recording. You push stop and then you can escape or if you, you push stop after every slide, but it will stay in that presentation or recording mode unless you push another button and I find escape the most convenient. Then you go to file and you save it as a usual PowerPoint presentation. If you want to post this on YouTube, then you have to do a few other manipulations and export it. Then I would like you to email the file as an attachment to CNIS. I would like you to send it to me, lat at cnis.ca, as well as to Vimy at office at cnis.ca. So that's it. I'm looking at the recording. This is six minutes and five seconds, so I will certainly be under the seven minutes. When you look at this presentation, you'll notice that I went back and I used the designer options to change them after the video had been put in, and I also moved the presenter uh, view out of the way so that you could see the right-hand corner of the um, recording panel. So I look forward to your presentations. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it.